Hello guys, good morning. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the Explicit Tutorials. As you all know, I'm Dr. Joseph or Mr. Explicit. Please, as you watch this video, endeavor to subscribe, like, share, and comment so that when I upload a new content, you'll be notified by YouTube. If you are preparing for 2024 UTME, uh, post-UME, uh, GCE, YEC, NECO, NAPTEP, and nursing examinations, just chat me up on 091-6011-5375 so that I'll add you up to my WhatsApp group. And of course, we have on the board three questions on chemical and physical changes. Of course, the topic I've been treated already. So we've, we started from the introduction to chemistry, physics, chemistry, and mathematics. So just subscribe so that when I upload any content, you'll be notified by YouTube, so you will not be lagging behind. All right, so let's get started. The first one says, a chemical change is involved in dash. In other words, a chemical change is involved in which of these? Option A, fractional distillation, B, precipitation, C, chromatography, and D, sublimation. Of course, sublimation is a physical change, so that is not the answer. Chromatography and fractional distillation are separation techniques. Are separation techniques. Of course, sublimation is also a separation technique. In fact, all of them are separation techniques. So the one that is a chemical change here is definitely precipitation. That is first by a solution is formed. Take note of that. Number two, the passage of sulfur oxide gas into water leads to which of these? Please, it leads to what? A chemical change. The passage of sulfur oxide gas into water results to a chemical change. That is what? See, let me do the illustration. If sulfur oxide gas, if sulfur oxide gas is passed through water, uh, this is H2, sorry, so for was that right? SO2, all right, hey, SO2 reacting with water, don't forget it is gas, it will form what? H2SO3. So this is what we have, it is what? A chemical change. That is all of number two. Number three says the following are chemical changes except dash. The following are chemical changes except dash a passing of steam over heated iron uh, of course iron best react with what steam that is what gas d dissolution of sodium chloride in water b bubbling of chlorine into a jar containing hydrogen and b bubbling of chlorine into water the answer is b when i was taking this topic i gave you numerous examples of physical changes all right we said dissolution dissolution of salt in water all right, melting, uh, freezing, sublimation, condensation, evaporation, all of these are physical changes. Of course, I said the solution of salt in water, all right, but in this case, it specified the type of salt that they said sodium chloride water. So, option B is a physical change. A, C, and D are chemical changes. Let's take a look. The passing of steam over heated what ion. So I have Fe, Fe of course is solid plus H2O. That is, is gas in this case, all right? Steam is gas. So you have FeTO4 plus what hydrogen, all right? Plus hydrogen. In fact, what I have here contribute to what the rusting of what metals. For a metal to rust, there must be presence of oxygen and what? That is water and oxygen. That is oxygen and water contribute to the rusting of what? Metal, right? To an extent, this equation illustrates rusting. All right, so what I have here is the equation is not what? Ballast, right? We have four oxygen atoms in this case, so I'll place four at the back of this place to balance this other side okay so what i have here is 
this is hydrogen atoms. I know Here I have eight. So for me to balance what I have here, it means I will as well place four at the back of this place, and that automatically balances the hydrogen atom eight eight. However, ion is what three here, eh? so I place three at the back of this place. So it is a chemical change. Option C: the bubbling of chlorine into a jar containing hydrogen. That is, if chlorine, which is a diatomic element, is reacted with hydrogen, which is also a diatomic element, hydrogen chloride will be what produced, which is what an acid. Okay, so the equation is not balanced. I have two chlorine, I have two hydrogen. I simply place two at the back of HCl. That balances the chemical reaction. Number option D is the bubbling of chlorine into water. When chlorine is bubbled into water, it will form a strong or a powerful oxidizing agent, and that is also chlorate one acid, plus hydrogen gas. Please take note that when chlorine is bubbled into water, all right, it will form a strong or powerful oxidizing agent, and it is used as a bleaching agent. And it is called what? Also chlorate one acid. All right. Also chlorate one acid is used as a bleaching agent because it's, it is what? An oxidizing agent. Okay. So what do we have all together? So, um, oh, no, no. HCl. Sorry, that was a mistake. It's HCl. Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. HCl. So, Two chlorine, two chlorine, one oxygen, one oxygen, two hydrogen, and two hydrogen. So it is what? It, it is a balanced reaction. However, please note that sulfur four oxide bleaches by reduction. Alright? Sulfur four oxide bleaches by reduction. Chlorine bleaches by what? Oxidation. And what is common between sulfur four oxide? And chlorine is that the both of them requires water for bleaching to occur. I take it again. The difference between sulfur oxide and chlorine is that sulfur oxide bleaches by reduction, chlorine bleaches by oxidation. However, what is similar or what is common between sulfur oxide and chlorine is that the both of them require water for bleaching to occur. All right. When it reacts with water, in this case. It will produce what hydrogen uh, try also sulfate what five is it five now six let me check I have two plus x minus six equals zero okay four that is two times three is six let me check if it's actually and I'm taking that as two I have x minus four equals two or zero all right so what do I have here so x is equals what plus four. So hydrogen try also solve is what four. Very very correct. H is plus x then two, that is plus two minus four is minus six is what minus four. Once minus four crosses becomes what plus four. So this hydrogen try also solve is what four acid. Of course that is the acid produced which is used as what in bleaching agents. Also because one acid is used as a bleaching agent. It is a powerful oxidizing agent. Don't forget the similarity between this and this and the difference between this and this as already explained. So the answer is what to be. So I think okay, we are done with everything. I thought uh, another question was still left. So please at this point to call it a day. Uh, please subscribe so that when I upload new content YouTube will tell you, say, I don't upload content, all right? So please just subscribe so that each time I upload any content, YouTube will give you a notification. Thanks for watching. Do have a wonderful day. Our next topic is going to be elements, compound, and mistrust. Elements, compound, and mistrust. And under mistrust are treats, oils, and alloys. You know, alloys are impure substance. Of course, oils are the natural form in which elements exist. In other words, I'll say oils are the natural form in which elements are extracted from. Different elements have their oils. 
So in our next class, we're looking at these ores and how they can be extracted. Uh, that is, these ores and how elements are extracted from them. So please, thanks for watching. Do have a wonderful day. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment.